Hey everyone, it's Mr. Mountain Man here with another Western North Carolina small town adventure. Today we're going to be checking out downtown Silva, North Carolina, which is about an hour and a half outside of Asheville, North Carolina. Want to walk around downtown, see some of the dining shops and other places they have, maybe peek through the window and just see what the downtown area has to offer. Afterwards, going to head about 10 miles outside of the city to check out a historic rock called the Sudakala Rock. It has two to three thousand year old inscriptions on it, which nobody really knows what it means. It's out in a beautiful pasture in the Western North Carolina mountains, so it'll be neat to see that. So come along with me, Mr. Mountain Man, as we check out here in Western North Carolina, downtown Silva. Silva, North Carolina is nestled in the Western North Carolina mountains about an hour from Asheville, and its historic downtown is a great place to visit. Most of Silva's downtown buildings date from the early decades of the 20th century and was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2014. Today, Main Street offers an array of shops and dining, all with a mountain backdrop. Visitors wishing to learn more about the town's past can obtain information at the Visitor Center. All right, going to start this walk of downtown Silva here at Main Street and Spring Street. We'll make our way down toward the courthouse and take a look at some of the shops along the way here. Do a little window shopping. Right here we can see the B&B &B gifts and interiors. Looks like they got a little bit of everything for the house coffee mugs. I see some candles. Smells good even from the outside. Got a jewelry shop. Nice place for a walk. It's Monday evening and I'll tell you the traffic is moving through town right here and I can hear a lot of the cars in the background but we have a restaurant here, back up, which is the Guadalupe Cafe. They are open Tuesday through Sunday. Here we go, we got a snake song, farm and co-op plant sanctuary. And the Yoga Mill Breakfast Lunch Bakery. This would be pretty nice during the day to check it out. So it's uh, July 5th today. Still have some of the banners here, you can tell, you know, right after the 4th. And the temperature here in Silva, downtown Silva, is probably a nice, comfortable 80 degrees. Here's a store I wouldn't mind checking out. Again, just doing a little window shopping. We've got some classic decorations here. Got some, you know, old 1934 Pennsylvania license plate right there. Open most days, nine or ten occasionally. <laughs> oh, that's good. A lot of these mountain towns. One of the things that they're best known for the boutique shops, small restaurants, just kind of getting away from the chains and the big box stores that we normally go to. So it's nice to come down here, check things out. Hey, take a look over here. We can see the mountains out in the distance. Fireworks in Silva. I could see a sign down there that was I'm sure that was yesterday for July 4th. Across the street, beautiful church. And we're starting to get our first shot of the courthouse down there. It's funny because I was talking about chains. Of course, this one is closed, but that's our old people's. I always remember that from the south, seeing that in South Carolina where my grandparents live. Another restaurant, Lulu's on Main. They have a lunch and dinner, it looks like. Five to eight today. Well, if you get a corner seat there, you're going to get a nice, once again, a nice view of the mountains over there. 
come on down here to the end of the street see what else is down here and there's also just regular businesses vacation rentals realty I've seen some law offices there's a Wells Fargo across the street bank so a little mix of entertainment tourism local flair and functional what have you and then here is a spa closed probably closed for the day fusion spa oh the sun it's nice this evening and the blue ridge inn now i don't know too much about this but if you actually wanted to stay here in downtown silva in this area nestled in western north carolina this is as local as you can get now outside of town i did see a bunch of the chain hotels some with beautiful views because as you might be able to see over there i see a western carolina flag and we are within uh 10 minutes or so of western carolina oh there's a police department for silva it all kind of culminates down here at the end at the courthouse showpiece for the end of downtown right here which as i understand does not actually have any of the legal matters done here anymore it's all uh done elsewhere but they have inside i believe a historical society and a few other things that take place inside the courthouse there's a beautiful fountain there and those stairs going up i'm sure would be an incredible mountain man workout i'm just panning over here to again to the blue ridge inn i got some nice balconies and stuff this would be a nice place downtown eat go to some of these places and there's the Jackson County Information Center. I'm gonna pan back and get a good view of town. Let's go up to the courthouse and check it out. Wow, this is beautiful right here. Fountain is very peaceful. You can sit over here on this uh, bench, maybe get some mountain views. Looking out in the distance, see some more mountain views. This is a um, beautiful area here in Western North Carolina. And I was noticing this plaque or monument, I should say over here, Jackson County, dedicates this memorial to all veterans living and deceased who honorably served their country, that freedom may reign. Veterans Day, November 11, 2007. Very nice tribute right there, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I, and I see over here it says the Jackson County Public Library Complex. That's what that sign says. And uh, take a look at the stairs. Should I uh, <laughs> go up them? Maybe we get a kind of a nice view looking back. Nice. Pretty sure those are petunias over there. And they grow best in springtime or in cooler climates like here in the mountains. All right, wow. My legs are feeling it. This is a bird's eye view of downtown Silva, North Carolina. Let's head back down and see what's on the other side of the street. Well, if you come up here to the visitor center and they are not open, it says help yourself to a visitor bag, which is loaded with maps and information of the local area. So that's pretty cool. Take one of these. Heading back the other way in town, they got a billboard here. Concerts on the Creek, seven to nine here in Silva. Free on Fridays, bring a chair. Yeah, so. A lot of the places are closed, and it's also Monday, but it's still cool to window shop, be able to look inside and see some of the different things that they have. Just go for a walk in the mountains. And some of the dining is still open here, like the Lazy Hiker Brewing Company. Good place to get a cold beer. I just happened to look up uh, Spring Street here, and out in the distance there, there is a City Lights 
bookstore and cafe. So that looks pretty cool. And right here is the Sassy Frass consignment furniture. So you can get some secondhand furniture, but this stuff looks so uh, still pretty good. Checking out this dining room set over here. Not bad. One of the cool things upstairs is that wooden bunk bed. That thing is super cool. Got a music. Oh, cool. Look at these uh, old guitars. Looks like they got some record albums. Yeah, Peter Green over there. Fleetwood Mac. The original. I can't even. There's a little glare. The Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. Oh, and a Fleetwood Mac live album. Pretty cool. Certainly quiet here on a Monday evening. A couple of bookstores across the street as well. Friends of the Library used bookstore and Harry Alter Books. A lot of these places are cool. Yeah, so a lot of this, you know, we got Monday and Tuesday, they're closed. But you can peek inside there and see an array of books. And here we've got a fly shop for the fishermen. You know, I haven't gotten into any fishing here in Western North Carolina, but I've heard it's pretty good. It's going to be dependent on when you come here to downtown Silva, but there is ample parking along the street. But again, it's probably going to depend on which businesses are open and what time of the day it is. And there is Black Balsam Outdoors. Pretty cool shop. I see Columbia on the door. It's your outdoor apparel and then go on a mountain hike. And here we have the Balsam Falls Brewing Company. Looks like a great place to grab a bite to eat, get a cold beer. Anytime you can go to a local brewing company, that's what I would opt for. And check this out. Lucky's $12 haircuts. Barbershops, can't beat them. That's the best. Now it's time to head out from downtown Silva for a 20 minute ride through the beautiful mountains to Judah Color Rock. It's a sandstone boulder with some 1500 designs or petroglyphs carved into it by the Cherokee that are over a thousand years old. It's free to visit and open year round. The mountain views alone driving to the rock make it worth the trip. Little bridge right here. And it wouldn't be the mountains without water running through them. Here we go, Judicola Rock. All right at the entrance to Judicola Rock, and there is a little bit of parking here, just off to the side, the backdrop of the mountains. You know, I tell you, just the drive in to here is worth it alone. This is uh, quintessential Western North Carolina. And we have some information here about the rock. And again, they think that this began over 3,000 years ago when the soapstone boulders were quarried for making bowls. Petroglyph carving began around 1,500 years ago and likely continued until European settlement disrupted Cherokee lifeways and traditions some 300 years ago. I'll have to get down here and take a look. Little short walk. Let's head down and check it out. So you can see the rock there in the middle and they have this nice platform built up for folks to come over here. All right, so here at Sudacolo Rock, super cool. You can see how neat it is on this July evening. I wanna check out and take a look a little closer at what those inscriptions, what those ancient carvings or petroglyphs are on the rock. Let's take a look at a little history right here. Who is Judicola? According to Cherokee legend, Judicola was a slant-eyed giant who lived high up in the Balsam Mountains. He guarded his hunting grounds from Sudicola's judgment seat, today known as Devil's Courthouse, a site reached from the Blue Ridge Parkway. And there you have it. There is the rock with petroglyphs or essentially ancient carvings out of it. Now you can see that it's eroded 
quite a bit, but there is a old postcard kind of showing what they used to look like, including what I believe is the ancient legend of Sudakola, the large giant, according to the Cherokee. And I believe they say that that's his hand as he tripped and fell on the rock. So what do you all think that these inscriptions might be? Maybe a story? They say maybe a battle plan? Maybe it's a language that they're trying to translate? It's really difficult and nobody really knows. Nobody really knows what these petroglyphs mean. So you are looking at ancient history, literally right here. This rock is massive. It doesn't do it justice right here about how big it is, but this platform that's built up, you can see on either side. It's probably 10, 15 feet across, very big. And again, in this backdrop of the mountains on a gorgeous July summer day. So pretty interesting, uh, whether you're a history buff or not, just to come out here. And I can try to zoom in on some of that down there. You can see, again, the petroglyphs or carvings. And according to somebody who was standing here talking to me about it, there are places all around the country that have uh, projected petroglyphs and ancient carvings like this where you can see and sometimes they're at museums or outside. Uh, there was one in South Carolina and um, of course this one here. So pretty cool. Again, just about uh, 10 miles or so outside of Silva and worth checking out this two to 3,000 year old inscriptions here in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Is it just me or is this road something straight out of Cades Cove in a valley, mountains around, wire fence? Beautiful. All right, everyone, Mr. Mountain Man here in downtown Silva, North Carolina. Had a nice evening stroll to see the backdrop, the mountains, some of the stores and shops and some of the dining. A lot of the places were closed, so I'd like to come back here and maybe check it out. But it was still nice to window shop and see what this has to offer. If you're in the Cherokee area, maybe Maggie Valley, Asheville, anywhere in Western North Carolina, you want to make sure that you put downtown Silva on your places to stop. Hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, this is Mr. Mountain Man saying see you later.